This is Patricia. She's a professor at Penn State University in the pediatrics department. She loves her job. She is the head of a lab that works to understand more about asthma so we can produce better treatments and medications. But she specifically focuses on the differences between males and females. Why? It turns out that as kids, more boys have asthma than girls. But after puberty, more women have asthma than men. This difference really intrigued her, so she wanted to know more about how hormones like testosterone could influence how our lungs respond to toxins. To really get down to the specifics of this question, Patricia uses mice. Mice are a really important asset to scientists, especially when we want to find specific genes. Plus, Patricia can treat the mice with different levels of hormones to directly test how the hormones are affecting lung function. She has mice breathe clean or polluted air and then does tests on different types of cells in the lungs to see how they react. She's looking to see if changes in hormone levels change how much inflammation is in the lung. She also asks whether different genes are involved in the female and male mice during this process. A lot of the time, studies on asthma and related diseases are only done with male mice, so Patricia hopes that her research will help develop more effective asthma medication for women especially. Patricia encourages women aspiring to be scientists to be patient, be strong, and have friends you can count on. Being a woman in science is challenging, but it's so worth it.